Week three of Football Friday, and for the first time, our tailgate tour is visiting a big 11-man game. Our Zach Borg joining us from Canton for a big battle in 11A between the host Seahawks and Dakota Valley. Hey, Zach. Hey, Sam. You know, almost every year in Class 11A, it's the most competitive and most entertaining class, really, because you have the most amount of championship contenders at any given time for a title. But last year kind of bucked that trend because Dell Rapids had everybody back from a team that went unbeaten in 2022. And... Uh, no shock to anyone, they went unbeaten last year and rather dominantly won back-to-back -back state titles. But it was Dakota Valley who bucked the Quarriers' 24-game win streak last week as they look to return to prominence. It's been seven years since they last went to the Dakota Dome for a state championship game and six since they got out of the first round of the playoffs. Yet the Panthers made a statement last week in their 22-14 win at Dells. Dakota Valley always has been physical both on the defensive side and with a punishing run game. The difference head coach Carl Reinhardt has been quick to point out this year though is the team speed and it showed the, with the Panthers last week opening up the playbook and cutting loose in the passing game as well. With the Boonstra uh, brothers, uh, Tanner and Jackson, uh, you know, first and third fastest guys in the state of South Dakota uh, with their 100 meter uh, I, I, I think we're going to use that speed on the field. Uh, our run game's always been something we've always pushed, um, and I think you're going to continue to see that a lot. Drew Luckin, as our quarterback, uh, amazing leader, has stepped up. And again, that game will be kicking off here at about 7 o'clock. Dakota Valley and Cam, we got some young kids coming out here now to get ready for this game as they're going to have a good time. We'll be talking a little bit more with Canton coming up here at 6 o'clock on KSFY. They got the number one ranked team. And of course, you can also tune to Outlaw TV 13.2 as well as the Dakota News Now. Dot com and Dakota News Now app to watch the Lincoln and O'Gorman game. That'll be starting up here at 6 o'clock. The Seahawks were the preseason pick by most as the number one team and perhaps favored to get to the Dakota Dome behind our pigskin preview cover kid Kane Walner. And last week they found out just how tough it's going to be to run through this class, getting a test in their opener from Rapid City Christian. Had to rally to win that game 20-16. to And tonight another tough game. Third-ranked Dakota Valley coming into the friendly confines of Copland Field. Now, one reason many people are pretty high on this Dakota Valley, on this Canton team, other than Mr. Walner, is the fact they have a very tough team. This team's always been built on their toughness, and a big part of the reason this year's squad might be considered the favorite, they are so deep in the trenches. Rich Lundstrom's team has eight senior linemen back, and with Walner policing things at linebacker and providing a battering ram at running back, the Seahawks may play a lot like the can teams of your. We've been running, running that stuff, you know, the whole time I've been coaching, but we've gone to a lot of other things too and, and kind of tried to open it up a little more, but it might be smash mouth again. A lot of you good young guys. We got a big line, probably the biggest I've ever had in my career. So we lost a few seniors and they were good players, but I think we got a solid young core that'll carry us pretty far. And to pick a winner, we turn to the Dakota News Now Sports Pooch, who proved last week that no man or dog is perfect. The Pooch fell to 1-1 one one this year after Viberg Hurley fell to visiting Elkton Lake Benton's Elks. So we'll see if the Pooch can get back on track, choosing between Canton and Dakota Valley. Panthers Alley. Seahawks Alley. Go get them. Canton is the Pooch's pick. We hope you'll pick football Friday. We've got 15 games on tap for this evening. And, of course, you can also tune to Outlaw 13.2 or the Dakota News Now website, Dakota News Now app, to watch the O'Gorman and Lincoln game. That one currently underway on those applications right now. So check that out. And, again, join us at 10 o'clock on KSFY and KDLT. We'll toss it to break after this. Live from Canton, Zach Borg. More news and weather after these messages.